I was recently a part of a mapping contest, um, which hasn't quite finished yet. It should be finishing today. Um, and I had a good time with it. It was my first map that I've ever made for this game. It's a game that's still in a closed beta called Proteus. And I just wanted to share the map that I made because I spent like 38 hours on it. <laughs> uh, most of that was struggling to learn the engine. And then the rest of it was creating a couple rooms. So let's begin. I'm going to play it on medium because I suck. So I like mapping in this game enough that I might actually switch over to this once I finish timeline completely. And when I say completely, I of course mean, you know, finish the in-between map, the in-between worlds map. So. This whole front area here was actually just a struggle um, to produce. And that's because I didn't really know what I was doing. Now that I'm, you know, pretty good at it, I'm sure I can make this map in half the time. And that's kind of cool. I think one of the best parts about these is not only do I not have to worry about making realistic-ish terrain like I had to with Call of Duty, but the biggest part also is that the um, the actual level design um, choices that I can that I can make there, it, there's, there's just a lot more that I can do with it I'm a bit tired so if I don't sound like I make sense it's my bad and there's a lot more that I can do with this kind of level design because of the enemy types the um, the way the player moves the colors it's just there's a lot that I can do with it and it's kind of freeing considering before you know Making a house in Call of Duty was a hell and a half. So this area here was probably one of the cooler areas that I made. Even though it's kind of a boring hallway. Um, killed all the enemies back here where there's less blood. You can see I actually put in a lot of detail into the floor, and also into the ceiling too. I actually put detail into a ceiling. Like, who would have guessed, right? That never happens with me. And you'll actually get to see later in this level when I started getting lazy, because the time constraints were getting to me. I think I made this area on day three of four. Um, yeah, I made the two hallways. This is hallway number one. Hallway number two is a copy that has different colors. Um, and the stairwell. And I think I ended up with finishing that clown room that we were in earlier. The stairwell is actually one of my favorite rooms. Funnily enough, the reason why it was created was because... Um, what is it? The reason why it was created was because I didn't know how to make an elevator, so instead I made a stairway, and I just had an encounter in it. I feel like if I can't make a you know elevator, because elevators are cool in this type of game, I would instead make a stairwell that you have to fight through. And I did. And it looks, looks okay. It's fun. So I'm actually excited to see what else I can do with it, because now that I know a little more, I'm starting to get ideas, but I'm going to wait for this game to go into early access before I start making any more levels. And a big portion of that just means, hey, you know, timeline might get done. Keyword might.
I know I'm not as as fun when I'm playing one of these to, to listen to. I get a little more into it. Now, surprisingly enough, even though I make a lot of maps for like Call of Duty and stuff, this is actually the kind of game that I normally play. <laughs> And I was, I've been excited for this one to come out for a while. And then I learned I had a map editor, and I was like, ooh. And then there was a contest, and that got me to say double ooh. I actually didn't read what the, what the winners of the contest would get. I just wanted to make a map in here. I think I only learned after, I think, day three is when I learned what everything actually was and how to submit it. This game is a lot of fun, though. Like, I highly recommend when it comes into early access, get it. It's fun enough right now. I remember yesterday I was finishing this up and I had to basically learn how to do a bunch of other stuff to make the levels all play properly. Oh, it was fun. So this is the ending area, this is actually where the beginning like level area shows. I'm a bit bad at explaining that, but that's okay. monster just jumped off the edge and died there we go that's the uh that's the end of that i had a really good time making it um if anybody's a part of the closed beta or i beta beta or i guess when it comes out you can go ahead and play it i'd say look for that or type in mapping contest 2 as the tag and you'll be able to find it thank you for watching